Are you a bit stuck or confused when it comes to choosing a projector for your home golf simulator? Well, by the end of this quick fire guide, you'll know exactly what to look out for, and I'll even recommend a few good projectors for every budget. Right, projectors can be a bit of a minefield, so I'm gonna try and simplify them for you. There's a few main features that you really need to look out for, so let's crack on. It's important to look for the ANSI lumens rating when buying a projector to make sure that it's bright enough for what you need it for. The more lumens a projector has, the brighter it is. But how many lumens you actually need depends on how big your impact screen is and how much ambient light there is in your room. For a dark room with a small space, a projector with a lower lumen rating would produce a clear and bright image. But in a room with more ambient light from windows or just a light so that you can hit your golf ball, a higher lumen rating is necessary to produce a clear and visible image. As a general guideline, a projector with at least two to 3,000 anti-lumens is suitable for home entertainment purposes, whilst projectors used in commercial environments, conference rooms or classrooms should have a higher anti-lumens rating, preferably above 4,000. A standard projector requires a longer throw distance to project a larger image. So basically, you need to mount it further away from your screen, meaning that you'll need more space in your simulator. Whilst a short throw projector, on the other hand, can get a large image from a shorter distance, making it suitable for smaller rooms or rooms with limited projection distance, just like home golf simulators. Short throw projectors also have less chance of producing shadows on your impact screen whilst playing, and therefore they offer more flexibility in your projector placement. My current projector isn't a short throw, so when I'm taking a shot, it always casts a shadow on the screen. It doesn't bother me massively, but it is something that I could do without. 1080p HD projectors provide an excellent image quality for an immersive home golf simulator experience. But the main difference between 1080p and 4K projectors is the resolution of the image that they can display. Quite simply, a 4K projector can display four times the number of pixels than 1080p, which ultimately produces sharper, more detailed images with smoother edges and better color accuracy especially when projecting onto large screens like a home golf simulator. But 4K projectors are currently a lot more expensive and you'll also need a graphics card in your computer that's powerful enough to run 4K. So it could all add up to be quite expensive. Projectors typically have a range of input options to connect to different devices. But the main one you need to be sure of is that it has at least one HDMI input to connect to your computer. Some projectors may also have wireless connectivity options such as Wi-Fi or Bluetooth so that you can stream from smartphones, tablets or laptops without the need for cables. This might be something that you want to consider if your simulator room is doubling up as a home theatre. Lamp projectors use a high intensity light bulb to project an image onto the screen. They're typically cheaper and they offer good brightness levels, but they do have a shorter lifespan as the bulbs need replacing every three to 4,000 hours of use. Laser projectors use lasers to project images, offering superior image quality and color accuracy. They're typically more expensive than lamp projectors, but they do have longer lifespans often lasting more than 20,000 hours, and they require less maintenance. Whilst lamp projectors are great if you're on a budget, laser projectors are the better option if you're seeking higher quality images and longer term cost savings. Ultimately, you want to fill your screen as much as possible with the picture from your computer in order to give yourself the most immersive golf simulator experience. And to do that, you need to know how far away from your screen you need to mount your projector. And a great way to do this is to use the throw calculator on the website Projector Central. Here, you can either select the projector that you have or that you want to use, and it'll show you what size image you can get depending on the picture ratio that you choose. Or you can enter the size of your impact screen 
and then use the filters to narrow down exactly what projector fits your needs. I've put a link to this handy tool in the description below this video. Something you may need to consider when buying a projector is whether or not it's going to be aligned with the center of your impact screen. If your projector setup needs to be slightly offset, then you will need to make sure that it's got horizontal keystone correction. This setting allows you to still get a flat projected image on your impact screen without it being slightly distorted due to the off-center alignment of your projector. Most projectors come with vertical keystone correction, but not all of them come with this horizontal keystone correction feature. On screen right now are five projectors that you could use in your home golf simulator and they'd do a fantastic job. They range from budget to expensive, 1080p to 4K and there's direct links to each of these in the description below this video. You can also save some money and get a 5% discount on the excellent Panasonic PT range of projectors and some BenQ projectors at Golf Swing Systems. Just get in contact with them, let them know what you're after and they will do the rest and quote the code HANDICAP5 to receive your discount. But ultimately, you should choose your projector based on your needs and the information from earlier in this video. If you've got any extra tips or recommendations about projectors, then please leave them in the comments below this video. Or just let everybody know what projector you're using and how much you like it. If you're getting value out of this video, then please support the channel by hitting that like button and subscribing to Handicap Golf.